Well, hello, my YouTube family. Excuse me, I'm just a little late because guess what? I'm just eating my quote-unquote lunch now. Uh, went to KFC's and I wanted the popcorn chicken meal, which consists of, you know, the popcorn chicken, wedges, which I asked for, wedges, and I wanted a Pepsi. Why am I driving off and I'm parking my Jeep back at work? Because, honey, if you miss your spot, that's it. You might park on the street or something. I look in the bag. Oh, the popcorn chicken's there. That, that's fine. The Pepsi's there. No problem. Why is my side mashed potatoes and gravy? You know I was so upset. I was just, you know, beyond. Not that I was having a tough day or anything. It, it was a great day, by the way. But you know when you have a taste in your mouth and only that particular food is going to quench that taste. Well, I said, you know what? Screw that. And not only that, but I oh, my bad on this part. I forgot to ask for my honey mustard because I like to dip my popcorn chicken in my honey mustard. And I forgot the honey mustard. So A, I forgot the honey mustard. And B, they gave me a side that I... How does wedges sound like mashed potatoes? Do they sound remotely alike? So I ate the mashed potatoes. That was my lunch. And I drank my soda. And I said, let me just save my popcorn chicken for when I get home because I have honey mustard at home. So the reason why I'm recording this at 6.03 p.m. and not any earlier is because I had to finish my popcorn chicken. Not even finish, I had to eat the whole thing. And while I was doing so, I was watching some more behind the scenes stuff of Game of Thrones on YouTube. So that's why I'm recording this, this a little bit late. Not that much late, people, just a little bit. Okay, so let us do lips of the day as we always do. This is lips of the day, and it's a newbie. I have had my eyes on this lipstick for I don't know how long. It had been sitting in my Amazon, you know, on the side, Amazon cart, I guess you could say, for ages. And I finally, finally just broke down and bought it. It is a Milani color statement, because you know how much I love these color statement lipsticks. It is a Milani color statement, and this is in the color Chocolate Berries. Chocolate Berries. And this is Chocolate Berries. Is that not, not a phenomenal shade? O-M-G. This is Chocolate Berries. And this is chocolate berries. You see that undercurrent of red? It's got a little hint of red, the berries part. And of course, the majority of it is chocolate, the dark brown part. And it's a color statement. You know this formula is the ish. Oh, oh. Ah. So that's the newest in my collection of. Milani statement lipsticks. So that was lips of the day. There is really nothing to talk about other than this day went 10 times faster than yesterday. 10 times faster. It's Tuesday, so the 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 chaos of Monday is over. So it was a pretty sort of pleasant day with the exception yeah, there's always got to be an exception of the fact that I had to deal a lot with my supervisor because she's interviewing people. So, of course, it's just she and I and I have to go to her office and here's the next person. And sometimes she was prepared and sometimes not so much. But had it been me, <clears throat> you know, supervisors, the, the higher ups can always fuck up. Excuse my French. But let the little wig, the little person make a slight error and you will hear thunder and lightning coming out of their eyes and mouth. So there was somebody who came for the interview. She was 
there was one who came for the interview. She was, you know, she was supposed to come today. And then there was one who came today who was supposed to come tomorrow. That one, I hope my supervisor doesn't even think twice about her. Because she came with an attitude like everything she that she was asking of me to do. First, she asked me to make a photocopy of her resume. Okay, I made a photocopy of her resume. Then she made a mistake on the on the application. I need a second page because I made an error. So now I don't have these particular sheets. So I have to go to my supervisor and I have to ask her for it. And then she hands me back the sheet that she made a mistake with. And I give it to my supervisor. And then I come back with the new sheet and she goes, well, where's the old sheet? I said, I gave it to my supervisor. I would like that sheet back, please. So I went back to my supervisor and I said, she would like that sheet back. And my supervisor said, it's shredded. And you could tell on that tone, she's like, why is she asking you to do all of this? And I said, okay, I will let her know. And I went back and I said, she shredded it. Oh, okay, thank you. Bitch, uh, do you want the job or are we inconveniencing you? Did, we, did you wake up too early? What, what is the problem? She had like a stick up her ass. And just attitude from now until the day's long. Like, do you want the job or not? If you don't want the job, you shouldn't have even bothered to come in for the interview. Like, a lot of people have been doing, I'm sorry to say. Like, she schedules them. There was one that was scheduled for 11 o'clock. Never made it. That was today. There was one that was scheduled yesterday for 12 o'clock. Never made it. Like, I don't know if these people want jobs or not, or if they're hearing through the grapevine, or if they go on um, Glassdoor.com, because you know Glassdoor.com gives you the reviews and what people say about the job and this, that, and the other. Sometimes it's not pretty. Anyway, um, yeah, so it was pretty much that kind of a day. And I think tomorrow, she said that there's only going to be one last interview for the rest of the week. Fine by me. Oh, and speaking of the rest of the week, um, Alpha, she won't be back into the office until Thursday. So we have to deal with mini Alpha, uh, the other one, and the other one. So there you go. Whatever. Oh, and did I did I mention? I, I don't think I did. Uh, Mini Alpha got engaged, quote unquote. But she talks about her man like she doesn't trust him. She needs to know where he is. She he need, she needs to know what he's doing. Like, and I and I just kind of flippantly said, "Don't you trust him?" She goes, "I don't trust any man." I said, "Well, then why are you getting married?" Oh, because you know. And I'm saying to myself, no, I really don't know. I didn't want to continue on with the conversation. So do you, boo, do you. Anyway, I, you know what? There are certain types of people that you kind of wonder what they, why they do what they do. But they've been getting away, skating, being underhanded, being slimy, being sneaky, being... For so long that that's, you know, and I guess if the guy had a problem with it, he would have walked. But sometimes chaos attracts chaos. And they paint it over with the word love. I don't know. Anyway. Anyway. So that's that's basically it in a nutshell, people. There's really today was such a dream. I hope the rest of the week is just like today. Just a carbon copy of today. Just a dream. I did nothing, really. But on my phone, Facebooking all day long. Posting, making comments, answering comments. 
it was heaven. It was heaven. It was heaven. So I hope the rest of the week is exactly the same. The phone was a little crazy, but, you know, if it wasn't for the phone, then I really wouldn't have a job. So I didn't mind it so much. But I got to tell you, people, I know this is going to sound so bad, and I really don't mean it to be. There are more every day. There are more non-English speaking people coming to apply to be home health aides. I've never seen so many. They don't speak a lick of English, but they want me to give them an application. They don't know how to fill out the application. They don't know where to put their name. They don't know where to sign it. They don't know how to sign it. I'm like, what is going on? Is somebody telling them to come here? Because this is getting out of hand now. It's getting out of hand. And the thing is, you just can't come in and, ooh, you're a home health aide. No, there's a there's a, an extensive test that you have to take. And these people swear, oh, yeah. You know, sometimes the person that's going to take them into the HR department comes to my desk. And the first question is, do you know how to read English? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. First of all, did you even understand the question? The word English is in there. The language you don't speak. How do you know? Do you know how to read it? Whether they pass the test, I don't know. Sometimes I never even see them again, so I know for a fact that, that, one, that one didn't pass the test. But then some of them come with their interpreter, thinking that the interpreter is going to be interpreting the test for them. No. And then once they figure out, oh, I'm going to have to take this test alone, that's when they bolt out. <clears throat> but it's getting more and more. I'm noticing it's more and more. And I'm like, what is going on? What is happening here? Less and less English-speaking individuals and more and more foreign-speaking individuals. And I'm like, what is that? It's got nothing to do with me. I know how to do my job. I, I speak English. But if you're trying to tell me something and I don't understand what you're saying, then I have to call somebody. Could you please come up and translate? And, and it becomes a whole thing. So I just do what I do. I do what I have to do. If they can get along with the person that's in it, it, translating, then that's all well and good. But just know that that person that's translating is not going to be translating the test for you. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I really, I don't know what's going on. It's just a shift all of a sudden. And I'm like, somebody must be telling them, there must be an agency or something telling these individuals to come here and apply for a job that they they may know what to do as far as the job is concerned but if you are going to be taking care of a patient which is more than likely going to be speaking english how are you going to communicate if that person falls or gets hurt how are you going to understand other than the fact that the person is either crying or is unconscious now, now, what do you do? Do you know who to call? Do you know? I don't know. I don't know. That part of the job is not my responsibility. I've got enough on my plate. But it's like, I, I'm, you know what? In a way, I'm very proud of them for taking that step because it reminds me of my father and my mother who came from Haiti to New York, not speaking the language at all. And they got along just fine. They managed very well. They managed very well. They managed to learn language, speak it better than me sometimes. I'm... 
So in a way, you know, I can't thumb my nose to them. I just, it's very difficult. It is, it's, it's just, very, it's very difficult to watch because they're struggling, but they want to make it and they probably going to make it richer than me, but it's, it's a struggle. It's a struggle. And the fact that we're getting this, this surge of foreign speaking people, that's what's, that's what's alarming me. I'm like, where, where, who? Is it the neighborhood that we're in that's changing so drastically? I don't get it. So I just, you know, that's, that's just my take on it. Anyway, <coughs> oh, oh, <coughs> excuse me, we're done wrong pipe. Anyway, that's it. That's all people. Um, I'm going to watch more behind the scenes Game of Thrones stuff. You know, I can't get enough of that. I love, I love behind the scenes stuff. I, love it. I just love it. From the director's point of view, to the producer's point of view, to the director, to, to the actor's point of view. I just, I just love that stuff. I really do. So I'm going to just delve into that until it's time for eight o'clock to watch my stuff. Okay. All right, so that's it. That's all. This is Lips of the Day. I really like this shade, people. It's a reddish brown, and I like it. I like it a lot. And it's a cream formula. Well, you know, it's Milani. But then Milani had different formulas, didn't they? So this is a cream formula. And it's called Chocolate Berries. And that is it. That is it. That is all. This is Lips of the Day, and it's time to go. It's time to go. I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know what you think, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Okay? God willing. I love you. Mwah. Bye now.